What's going on everybody? Brennan here, back with another video. Today, got a little update for you guys, so let's get into it. All right, so this is the new hot side. So we have uh, driver, I'm sorry, passenger and driver side manifolds. We have uh, merge and a T4 flange there. And then I uh, got him to replicate one charge pipe with uh, the mass airflow in it just to make sure I have a good signal. Um, also got him to weld on the Wigan style flange. And then this is a box with the modified air conditioning lines. So first thing we got to do is get the engine back in the car and bolt all this stuff up that's here. And after we get everything bolted up, I can start making the cold side, mount the turbo, you know, get all the piping and everything figured out, um, start laying out the fuel system, stuff like that, um, and then go from there. So I have my original Gen 1 engine that spun the rod bearing, and then these are some scrap heads that I've had laying around for quite some time. You can see they got some scoring on the cam journals. Um, so I just threw these up here so I could have a complete engine. I'll slap the uh, manifolds onto this once I get it back in the car. You know, have all the accessories and everything bolt to this one. I just got to bolt one of these transmissions up. I'll use this one because that's mine. This is not mine. I'm just, I got it here for a buddy. So I'll bolt this up once I get everything in the car. But like I said, first things first, we got to get the engine off of the engine stand and onto the uh, leveler. All right, guys, took a little finesse, but I managed to get it all in there. Everything's lined up pretty good. This could come back just a smidge. This side needs to come out just a little bit and back just a hair. But, I mean, for the most part, everything's in there where it was. But, yeah, this is exciting, you guys. Uh, this is the first time the engine has been in the car since July 5th. So, pretty hype. Lower this thing down so you guys can take a look. There we go, guys. Got everything sitting in here. I haven't taken the uh, leveling system off yet, but uh, got it sitting back in its hole. So now, can get the hot side put on, uh, mount the turbo and everything. I do plan on eventually throwing the boss manifold on with the fuel rails and everything, and then just kind of uh, laying out the line, seeing how I want everything mounted. I do want to do the uh, fuel pressure regulator and vacuum block under the intake manifold, uh, just because I went through all the effort to shave the bay. And I mean, I feel like I need to put the extra effort into the rest of the car as well. So um, yeah, I'm excited. It's my new TIG welder. Shouts out to the fiance for uh christmas so it's a prime weld tig 225 it's uh ac and dc um i've been running some beads on aluminum here uh here lately just trying to get a hand for uh welding it so this is eighth inch yeah eighth inch plate no i'm sorry this is 16 gauge plate uh and this stuff warps really fast but i wanted to get a feeling for uh welding the intercooler piping and, and that's 16 gauge as well so and then these are just uh, a couple other little things i did this is a butt weld i ran out of filler rod in my hand there so i had to i haven't mastered the art of feeding it yet so you know doing this deal while you're welding uh, i haven't really mastered that but i'm practicing slowly getting better um but yeah i'm excited you guys so keep uh Keep looking for some updates because this is this is only the beginning like i was saying earlier guys just uh keep keep an eye out on like my instagram i'm gonna try and post more videos of this as opposed to instagram posts uh just to kind of document everything for myself uh instagram does a good job of that but i want to uh i just want to be able to look back on this because this is something I've, uh, I've always wanted to do, um, you know, a really nice build on something. And I've been around a lot of people that have. I had a buddy 
uh, Chad with a super clean Honda. Um, and that car was really, really slick, had a lot of nice, you know, like little touches to make it nice. Um, so I kind of want to do that to this. Uh, but you know, don't go over the top. Obviously I, I want it to be serviceable. I want to be able to maintain everything. I don't want it to be strictly show car or strictly race car. Um, I just wanted something that was clean. I could take to the track and, uh, occasionally drive on the street. So, um, anyways, just follow along and like, comment, subscribe if you like what's going on. And, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate it.